Today we're going to make a scatter plot in Google Sheets with some data labels. So we're going to graph our change in temperature versus molecular weight data. So that means change in temperature goes on the Y and molecular weight goes on the X. So let's remember that molecular weight on the X first because that is our independent variable. The change in temperature just depends and we measure that. So that was our Y. Um, oops, let's hit undo. <laughs> so first off, molecular weight. We'll find molecular weight in our pre-lab data. So go over to your pre-lab data and highlight the whole molecular weight column. Copy that. You could do edit copy. I'm just doing control C. Um, and then we're going to make a new spreadsheet. So click on new spreadsheet. Again, molecular weight was our independent variable. So we independently chose which molecular weight alcohols you would use. So we'll put our molecular weight first. And I'm just going to control V, copy that into my new spreadsheet. Or you could do edit, copy. And then let's go to our lab data and find your change in temperature. So you're going to graph that versus your overall change in temperature. So I'm going to control C on that. Or you could do file copy or rather edit copy. You could do edit paste here. I'm just going to control V. Um, I don't love that heading. I don't need to tell people how we calculated that. Let's put the word temperature out. Oops. And then let's put that little degree symbol didn't come through. The superscripts don't work here on our labels and sheets. So we'll just write out degrees Celsius. Okay, and then our labels are going to be the alcohol name and formula. So we're just going to highlight that. Control C or edit copy. And then we're going to do edit paste or control V. Um, I'm going to write up here alcohol. Okay, first just highlight the data, just the X and Y data along with the labels on top because then you'll automatically have your labels on your horizontal and vertical axes. And we're going to click this little bar graph icon. And based on the type of data, it's going to pick a scatter chart for you. Um, we don't want a bar graph for this data because we have these two mathematical points. Oh, and we need to edit it some more. So the thing we want to add is the data labels. Let's do that under the X axis. Go add labels. But we don't just want the molecular weight again. We want to, the name of the alcohol. So we're going to have to search for that or find it in our spreadsheet. So click on the little squares because we're going to find a range that has our labels over here. And so we're going to go over here and select the column from the word alcohol all the way down through the names of the alcohols and hit OK. And then it's going to label each point as methanol and ethanol and propanol and pentanol, which is great because then we can see that methanol had a really low molecular weight and a really big change in temperature. And you should find that pentanol has a really high molecular weight, but a really small change in temperature. And then click on the graph and get these three dots in the right-hand corner and go copy chart and then go to your lab and go down to where the sheet goes, graph two, and we can get rid of this text and we can just control V or we can edit paste and I would go ahead and link it to the spreadsheet because then everything is connected in case you want to see the data in the spreadsheet again. And so there we've got a really nice graph of change in temperature versus molecular weight right in our document.